Okay viewers, welcome back to Raceway. And if you're new, thanks for stopping by. Now on today's version of Raceway, what I got for you today is I'm starting a new hobby. It's going to be kayaking. I'm going to do some recreational kayaking and I'm going to bring you along with me. So what I got is a couple kayaks that I got for both me and my spouse. And uh, let me show you what we got. I'll review each one and we'll take it from there. Okay viewers, here are the kayaks that me and my wife purchased. Now, Mine is the uh, one closest to you, of course, and my wife's is obviously um, in the back. Uh, so we'll go through mine first, and we'll talk about some of the features and what I like about it, and compare it to my wife's and what I like about hers and the differences between the two. Okay, now I went with more of an angler-style kayak. This is a Pelican a Rebel Angler. Um, doesn't have a lot of decals on it, of course. It just says Pelican. Now, uh, some of the features that I have here, of course, are these, um, the knee and thigh um, pads, uh, a cup holder, you know, got a cup holder here, and then also got a st strap here for like maybe a cell phone or some other device. If you're fishing, maybe something else you can put there, of course. It comes with this uh, fish rod holder. If I can get that out, it pops out, but it's adjustable. It also comes with these uh, tracks, of course, that uh, you hook up at your uh, fish finder or GoPro and things like that. So more likely when I get a GoPro, that's where it's going to go. Okay. Uh, I got front straps, tie downs for some uh, gear that you want to take with you. Um, obviously, you got the front and rear uh, cords. Um, feature I like about this is the seat but we'll get to that in a second it has the uh, fish rod holders then they got a little connection here where you can tie in a, a rod tie down to keep it from keep losing if it happens to fall out it also has a, a hatch here that has like a watertight bag in here so it, that's that's good because whatever you put in there it should hopefully stay dry or for the most part uh, stay as dry as it could be in a kayak let's say okay so um, what I may do is put some weather stripping around here both on the inside and the outside even though they got it around the lid and that's what supposedly keeps it dry but uh, hey it won't hurt to add more right so um, that's the one feature let me get to the chair what's nice about this chair other than the fact that it folds down and you can uh, take it out you know, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but uh, anyhow, the chair does come out. That's my uh, permit, my launching permits that you have to buy. These are our temporary stickers. I just to get the new ones in the mail today, but we can talk about that later. But anyhow, that seat comes out. You can slide that out, and if you go to, if you dock somewhere, have lunch or so forth, you know, you can take that chair with you. Um, and then when you're stowing it or or, or storing it or, or put it on your car then you can always take this off and put it inside the vehicle um, what I like about this kayak as well is it gives you these other on both sides for carrying you got these other access holes that are cut in right there also it can allow you to store stuff get stuff in here if you want to store some more stuff like if you are fishing you can put some gear back there and so forth because they do have blocks of styrofoam put between here for uh, 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 um, being buoyant you know keeping your buoyancy so uh, you can always remove those and stuff them and other things of course these type of um, foot rest are adjustable um, so you can you can adjust these to wherever you like your feet so that's what I like about that and it also got uh, an oar holder you know got it's, it's concaved here to support it and you put it on there you also got one across the top here you can lay it there to, too but at least that way if you are fishing you know you can strap your oar there and you don't have to worry about losing it and generally you may want to keep your oar on a on a on a strap so you don't lose it now my wife's pelican mustang is more of a vibrant color um they got a front storage device that uh, 
keep some things in it's not really that deep but what's nice is that uh, you can put like a dry bag in there and uh, something like that to keep uh, stuff um, obviously it's not going to stay dry dry the way this is okay um, but that's why you want to put stuff in a dry bag or put it in a bag so uh, you can keep it as dry as possible um, see it has a nice uh, little Mustang logo on there of course I don't have any on mine um, it has the same on the dashboard part it has the same uh, tie down and uh, we both have the same hall design and this is let me show you the hall and this is what they call their their twin um, twin arch ch chime or chine uh, halls so they're built to be stable they're not really the most speediest things in the world they're for newcomers and to the sport and, as we are and so uh, it keeps it stable and that's what we're looking for we're not gonna having a speed contest or anything like that now what's nice about my wife's uh, Mustang is that these thigh pads you know move so uh, based on your height you put them where you like them okay now her feet attachments they're set they're built in let's say and they're set for different things so if she gets a uh, a cramp and she can move her legs either further down back up and they're not like adjustable like mine I, you know i think mine may be a little bit hard to adjust on the fly and on the water you know but we'll give that a shot see how that works out now her seat of course is made of this foam neoprene stuff which is good um comes with a nice back that you cinch up with your straps so uh depending how you like it um, got a built-in cup holder here between the legs that so she can put some there's nothing in the side right here but we can we can work on that um, she also has the uh, if you do want to fish or hang flags or maybe a night you, uh, at night you put a light in there because you're supposed to have a 360 degree white light if you're uh, out on the waters at night so you can always put something in there like that too um, she has this dry bag in here supposedly dry bag let's say so you would uh, unstrap it and of course if you wanted to take this out now it's still tethered in here with the zip cord and stuff but you can unzip that put your uh, dry bag in there I'll still put stuff in the dry bag because this should keep it warm uh, cold uh, semi dry but it's not a guarantee to keep it it's not a guarantee dry okay uh, dry bag so what's nice about this if you have if you were going to fish you can just not bring that and you can maybe put your tackle back here and uh, these do not have scuffer holes in it so if you do get water in here it's not going to drain okay so you would have to uh, you know scoop it out use a sponge a pump whatever um, the downside of this one what I don't like about it that much uh, the, the only downside let's say is it doesn't have and i'm gonna have to put them in here it doesn't have um uh, a way to store your oar or paddle let's say uh, securely without uh without tying it down i mean yeah it does have the support right here to lay it on here but if she wants me to i can put i can put a couple of uh, things in here so we can tie down her uh her oar or paddle i keep calling it an oar what's nice about these as well these these both have a capacity of 300 pounds uh stable and uh they're lightweight 39 pounds so that should be pretty good so and the last thing i don't like about it is is it doesn't have the additional cutout rut here to carry and pick up you're kind of limited to this way it makes it just a little bit awkward if it did have that opening right there and make it a little bit easier to carry but we'll work on that and uh again it's not that heavy so thanks for uh looking at my review next time you see these things they'll be on the water um however i do got a video coming up because i can't go on the water if i can't get them on the jeep okay so i'm not really gonna buy a 300 dollars roof rack so one of my videos coming up It'd be uh, 
uh, a roof rack making out of PVC and foam, pool noodles, whatever you like. But uh, hang tight for that one. It'll be coming up shortly. And thanks for tuning in Raceway. Have a good day. Or I like to say, see you on the water.